I will now go through the composite procedure in order. You will then wipe the area with a 2x2 two two gauze. You will place the topical anesthetic with a cotton swab. You will then rinse and aspirate the patient's mouth. You will then assist with the local anesthetic and rinse and aspirate the patient's mouth once more. Then you will select a shade that best fits. You will then place dental dam on selected tooth. The operator will begin prep using several burrs for the proper retention. You will then maintain field of operation with an HVE plus a saliva injecta also will help out in the procedure. You will then rinse and dry the prep and pass the mirror to the dentist. You will transfer a spoon activator to check for solid enamel walls. With cotton rolls to assist, you will rinse and dry the prep. Spatula is needed. You will then place a base and liner if needed. We have Dicol and Gluma are mostly used. You will then place matrix retainer wedge if needed. <laughs> then rinse and prep and transfer the etch to the operator. Once the operator begins etching, the process starts to you will etch for 30 seconds and rinse 30 seconds. After, you will use a resin bonding system. You will mix A plus B, one drop each, and then you will use a light cure for 20 seconds. The light cure is known to cure fast. You will then transfer the flowable composite as base. This is the ProFit flow in a beautiful bulk. You will then transfer the packable composite material and applications are in layers. You will then transfer the Explorer to check retention. You will use a wood sand on the paddle side to place the composite onto the tooth. This is a ball burnisher, will help you smooth out the tooth you are working on. You will then remove wedge and matrix, like here 20 seconds, transfer the dental dam forceps, and wipe the patient's face upon removal of the dental dam. You will then transfer the reticulator paper to the operator to check a cruzal and bite. You can adjust the restoration as needed with a football diamond burr. And then you can transfer the reticulator paper holder until it marks are even throughout. You will finish the restoration with a sandpaper disc or a polishing stone with a slow speed. And you will wipe all the blue marks from the teeth that the reticulator paper holder left. Give the patient a full mouth rinse. Then you will floss the contacts and give post-op instructions. After that, you can dismiss, dismiss the patient and the record treatment during the patient charts. That should summarize the composite procedure. You will then use the cotton pliers to safely remove and put in anything in the mouth. The Clio Disclode will help you remove any debris around the working tooth. You will then use an acorn burnisher to carve any anatomy onto the tooth. The condenser is also on the tray setup to make sure everything is condensed correctly. The carving instruments that you must have on the tray are going to be the hatchet, the gingival margin trimmer, and uh, mesial and distal. This is a gingival margin mesial. You will use a hatchet for planning and cleaving enamel walls during cavity preparation. And this is a gingival margin distal.